You know, you see in movies, sometimes a bad job interview is kind of funny, but in real life, it can kill your chances of landing a job. And with unemployment claims at a 16-year high, you really need to nail that first impression. So we are going to help you do that. Joining us this morning is an expert in this field. Susan Morm is the author of How to Get a Job and Keep It. Susan, great to have you. Hello. Good to have you with us this morning. Oh, that's such a great firm handshake. Which is so good. I that's like one that. of the first <laughs> things to the people. I see, that's one of the first things I look for, whether or not I'm interviewing. I'm, I don't really interview people for jobs, but a firm handshake makes a big difference. It does. That first impression is everything. And so you want to walk in with confidence, even though you might be feeling nervous, and put a smile on your face and look that person in the eye long enough to remember their eye color because you want to make a good connection. And then you can break, but you want to maintain that eye contact during the interview. Okay, I should point out you have lovely hazel eyes, Susan. Well, thank um, you. <laughs> the other thing you want to do, I know, when you come into that interview is really make sure you know what this company is all about. You have to be prepared. You need to do your homework. So before you go in, you want to do some research about the company, about the industry, you want to have specific questions prepared so that you can sell yourself effectively and ask intelligent questions and set yourself apart from others. So should I be asking questions about where, where the industry is headed, where the company is headed based on the news or based more on day-to-day on -day operations? You want to know, do your own research. So you want to go to the company website. You want to have your own questions to ask. And you're going to be asked questions too, so you also want to prepare some answers in advance. One thing that often interviewers will do is ask you, they'll say, tell me a little bit about yourself or tell me what's on your resume. And it's amazing that some people don't even know really what's on their resume. So you better know what you've sent in advance. Okay, so have that question, because that can be a little daunting. Tell, tell me about yourself, well, where do I start? So have that ready to go. Uh, beyond that, the way you, when you make that eye contact, you do that handshake, but just the way you look, can really have quite an impression. It is. First impressions happen instantaneously. So you want to look good because the first thing that they're going to see is you. What you wear is important. You want to have your interview suit. You want to dress to impress. You want to pay attention to details. It's all the little things that are being noticed. And many people who do interviewing will wait until the interview is over and check out the shoes that you are wearing because that shows whether or not you pay attention to detail. So make sure that they're clean. Make sure there aren't yeah, any scuff marks. Good condition. Okay. Make sure your hem is in hanging down. Right, you don't want that anything fixed. that's distracting. If you have a little breakfast left on your lapel, they're going to notice that. Could look that. Bad. Even but, the pen you use, you and, know, they will pay attention. What if, though, what if it's a pretty casual company? Do you still have to wear that interview suit? Well, you're not working at the company yet, remember. So you're trying to get into that company, and you're competing against many other people who are all going to try to look good. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't want to dress casual, even if it is a casual company. All of, all of these tips are so great, but they also can add a lot of pressure. And sometimes you feel like you're trying to be somebody you're not. You say the most important important thing, though, is to be yourself. You need to be yourself, but be your best self. Okay. <laughs> you know, the thing is, the more prepared you are, the more comfortable you will feel. Everybody is nervous for a job interview, and that's to be expected. But you don't want to make the interviewer feel uncomfortable, because if you're really nervous and uptight, you're not going to be able to connect. And it's all about making a connection and standing out and being the one that is remembered. And part of that is being positive, too, having a positive attitude. Of course. You have to go in. And, you know, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there, but there's also opportunity. There still are jobs available, and you want to be an optimistic person. You want to go in with energy and enthusiasm and be the kind of person that people would want to work with and be around. And another way to make them remember you too, I know, is with that thank you note and not on email. You know, you can send a quick email if you want to follow up, but a handwritten personalized note is key. And you will be remembered. Not enough people do this step. They think it's oversell. Well, you can't oversell, but you can be pesty. You don't right. want to do that. But if you follow up with a thank you note, that could make the difference. And you could be the one hired because of that little detail. Great. Thanks to think about. Susan Morham, a career expert. You're also the author of How to Get a Job and Keep It, advice we all need right now. Great to have you with us. Thanks. Thank you for having me.